Hey everybody, market's been closed now for a couple hours and just want to do a quick trade review. I'm going to start off looking at the daily chart since we're kind of breaking through some, some larger levels. Kind of zoom in here a little bit, get our little line tool. So we've broken highs here on the CPI data that came out this morning. See, we're pushing highs, pushing highs. CPI data came out here pre-market, pushed us right through kind of breaking out of this daily range here. Those two highs are being broken. So I went to the daily looking for some levels that we could possibly use as targets or potentially short from. And that brings us to this year big daily chart, right? This is our all time high here. Oh, that's the wrong way. That's our all time high here, kind of 2020, 2022, pardon me. These are some daily zones that we've been toying with that are coming into play soon. We just broke through that, right? So that one was already out. So I marked these two daily supply zones as potential targets or potential areas that we could just make a short from and get in short if we if we ended up pushing up that way pretty quickly this morning, but didn't quite get there. Uh, jump down to the hour chart here. So this is right when our CPI data came out this morning, big push up. So we're using this as kind of our lower supply our lower demand zone that if we come back into this area, we could take a long from or potentially use this as a target for a short if we got it anywhere. And then because I usually start my days kind of, you know, half an hour into the uh, into the trading day, we saw this here as a, uh, a one hour supply zone that we're going to be, you know, using to risk, using to target, however we do, right? It's one of those key areas. Let's jump into the five minute chart here and we'll go through my trades. As you know, I like to trade on the five minute chart. It just slows me down a bit. Also just wanna to be totally transparent, I'm training a five or a $50,000 Apex Combine account, just trying to get this one funded. So not being too aggressive with it. Don't wanna hit our you know trailing drawdown, any of that kind of nonsense. So just keeping it easy, steady, steady as she goes. And let's jump here. So trade number, oh, I don't need that. I need this. Trade number, oh, no, pardon me, guys and gals. Trade number one here. So we came into this area, started to, oh, pardon me. So this is a long, actually. Um, strong push up made a lower high, or a higher low, pardon me, and then another higher low in this area. If you if you were looking at the uh, the the delta delta profile chart, there was a strong delta flip here. So like lots of pressure selling and then bought right back up. So lots of aggressive buying into this pullback. So I got long there, took a partial five points later, stopped out break even, small win, kind of one R one-to-one -one risk or reward after the break even stop out so we kind of hit two to one on this position here usually keep my stops pretty tight kind of like two three points i try and keep it tighter than that if i can but realistically it, it ends up being about three points uh trade number two here so we get into this area we make that one hour supply zone up here this didn't exist at the time so i was potentially targeting up to the daily zone didn't get there, started rolling over. We got this strong sell off and it looked like, you know, we have a change of character for the day. Push back into this area. Again, looking at a delta rotation on the footprint charts. I'd be happy to show you how I spot those in another video. Just comment below if you'd like me to dive into the, the delta profile charts for you. The footprint charts are super helpful for identifying these like pinpoint areas that you can get in. You know, it, it helps you tighten up your risk, get in at the right spot, but you know, it, it's like any other, it has its faults as well. You gotta be pretty quick with it. So you can get false signals, but it's it's the way that I like to trade and I find helpful. I think it's interesting. So if you're curious about that, just uh, comment down below, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll make a video about it. So trade number two, short into this Delta rotation here take one off kind of into the uh, the lower day and then get stopped out. This is largely the same trade again. Stopped out, same trade again, just a little bit higher, stopped out. 
So we pushed up back into the 15 area. This again was uh, another delta rotation kind of up here. Didn't get that. Saw the push down. I wanted to get back in on the back side around here. Didn't come back up. See this other sell off. And then this is where I tried to get short again. So this five minute supply here, right? Bump as we got delta rotation here on the fair value gap added into the the five minute supply zone and then right here I closed my entire position that was uh what was it 358.59 I have like a, a hard stop out set up in my rhythmic R Trader Pro so that I don't end up holding any positions overnight say I you know mess up an order or I leave one on and walk away for the day it'll just close out everything at that point so closed out the entire trade there. I think it was about a ninety dollar win for the for the day. I think I over traded a little bit. Seems like this was this was unnecessary. This was unnecessary. This was a good trade. I don't know if I needed the ad. That might have been adding a little bit too much risk. But these two for sure, I could probably have done without. I thought I was seeing something there. I think I was just getting a little too excited because what I really wanted to see was the gap fill down into this area here, back down to this this one hour demand zone that we created before the CPI, but we didn't get that rollover. I'm still expecting it. I don't see how we can be pushing high of day, you know, pushing for all time highs when all of this economic news is so bearish, but I'll just trade with the trend as I always do. Just want to get in at best price and hold it as long as I can. So with that in mind, if you guys are interested in Apex accounts, I've got a link below that'll give you a, a quick discount. It also gives me a little bit of a kickback so you know I can keep making these videos, support the channel that way. Uh, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and if you have anything in particular that you wanna talk about or you want me to cover, happy to share my journey with you. Um, just comment below and I'll be sure to address all those comments. We'll, uh, we'll cover some different topics, but for now, I, I'm just enjoying doing the, uh, the live trading sessions in the morning. So usually get started about, I guess like 10 o'clock, half an hour after market open, maybe 15 minutes after market open, 945, because I do not like to trade that that first little bit of the open. I like to let the price discovery happen so I have some levels to risk off of. Um, yeah, just give me a like, give me a subscribe, follow below. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Hope you guys had a great trading day. Hope you're staying green. Cheers.